Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna be playing with some new makeup. I have some like new makeup that we're gonna be playing with. I'm gonna be doing my makeup. That's what we do here, we do our makeup. Um, plus I have like an exciting little announcement that I wanna share with you guys. So I guess we'll just get right into that. Why like wait, you know what I mean? Um, I have a favorite set with Sigma. That's a surprise. <laughs> uh, so I have a favorite set with Sigma. This is the set. Um, I don't know when this video is going up, but my assumption would be that it's going up the day that it's available. So as far as I know, it is available right now. But if there's any like details that I'm missing, I'll obviously put everything down below. You know me, everything's down below. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I did a favorite set with Sigma. <laughs> so we're gonna go through the set. I'm gonna use everything and we're gonna do our makeup. That's what we're gonna do. In this set, what's included in this set? First of all, cute. Okay, cute. Second of all, cute. Okay, cute. <laughs> um, all right, so in this set, it's an eye focused set. We have four brushes. I'm gonna go through all of the brushes. We also have the Sigma Travel Switch. All right, so number one, one of my absolute favorites in the entire world. You know that I had to include this, the E54 brush. Now, I have like eight of these brushes. I love it so much. I think I talked about this in one of my, I don't know, like a recent-ish video a little while ago. I still have my original E Sigma 54 brush that I received like eight years ago at this point, eight, maybe seven years ago, seven or eight years ago. And I still use that specific one all of the time, all the time. Uh, I have like three or four of them going at a time so that I don't have to clean them as often, uh, but that's where the switch comes in. Anyway, so the Sigma E54, which is the medium sweeper brush. So if you don't know this brush, it's essentially um, like a flat, but still kind of fluffy brush. It's not like super flat uh, and it is quite, it's like dense enough, but there's also like a really nice amount of give to it. It's very, very soft. It's probably my favorite brush for packing shadow onto the lid and we're gonna like We'll talk more as we go. I just wanna like show you real quick like what's in the set. So Sigma E54 brush. Next up we have the Sigma E80 brush, which is the, it's the brow and lash. I think I always say lash and brow brush. It is a, it's a spoolie, it's a spoolie. Look at that spiral, look at that nice spiral. This is in my humble opinion, the best spoolie. Listen, if you watched my channel at all, then you know all of these products. Um, it is the best, hands down the absolute best spoolie that there is. So Sigma E80. Next we have the Sigma E06 brush, which I think is, it might be one of the most like um, asked about brushes that I use on my channel. People are always asking me about this brush. Uh, this is the tiny, tiny little winged liner brush. Look at how tiny. Look at that tiny little guy. So tiny. It is perfection for wings, for uh, inner corner in our corner wings, all of that stuff. So the E06, then the final brush that we have is the E45, which is the small tapered blending brush. This little guy right here, which in my opinion is kind of like a, it's like a sleeper brush. I feel like it's one that people don't really talk about very often, but it's kind of like one of the most necessary brushes. And again, we'll get into it. So if you take a look, it's really, really nice and soft and blendable, but it's also tapered at the top. And then finally, we have the Sigma Travel Switch, which again, you've probably heard me talk about. So this is essentially, they have like the large switch, which the point of it is to, if you have a dirty brush, which I got plenty here, if you have a dirty brush, I have a very dirty brush right here, you have all of these little sections on it that say like face powder, um, eyeshadow, cream, and it's all, all of these little textures are designed to pick up, so wh where are we? Eyeshadow, I'm doing this backwards here. So I have eyeshadow. You just kind of like rub your brush. Can you see? It's like pulling off the eyeshadow. So you just kind of like rub your brush there and you know, it's taking off the majority of that eyeshadow. So it just pulls, so it just pulls off the product so that it's, you can easily be like, oh, I just had like, you know, brown shadow on this. Now I want to use it to blend like orange then I can just like do, 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 and then go in and blend. So this is the travel size. They have the full size one 
right here, but I'm including the travel size in mine. My set. Let's get into the new makeup. We're just gonna, I'm gonna zoom you in. We're gonna start off with eyeshadow so that we can use everything. Okay, so we're just gonna be playing with some new makeup, um, face and eye. It's not just gonna be eye. Uh, speaking of Sigma, I have the new Beauty and the Beast palette. I think I'm gonna use some of the mattes from this palette. I also have the Lightwork Volume 5 palette from Danessa. <laughs> I also have the Lightwork Volume 5 palette from Danessa Myrex. It's upside down, but it's fine. So we're gonna be playing with some of that. Um, and then also some face products. So I'm gonna start off with Powerful from the Danessa Myrex palette. And I'm gonna pick that up using my E54 brush. So what I love about this brush is that you can literally just like dip it in like that and it just picks up, it just picks up the pigment so nicely. See how it like grips the pigment right there? So depending on like how flaky um, a shadow is, I always make sure to like tap off and I'll like, you know, for foil, I'll sometimes spritz it with a little bit of Fix Plus. The brush just grips that shadow really nicely. So I'm gonna start off on my lid. I'm just gonna pack this all over the lid. So I'm gonna start by um, gently patting and then kind of like doing a pulling motion. Another reason that I love this brush is because it's like a little bit fluffy after you pack it on, because it's not like a super flat brush and it's got like that nice, it's got like a little bit of a, like if I turn to the side, it's got like a little bit of a dome, you know? When you are finished packing it on, you can use, like utilize that dome shape at the top to kind of like buff it. So it makes it a little bit easier to blend. It doesn't leave you with like a harsh line or anything. See what I mean? Like if you're just going all over the lid, softens that edge without leaving with you with like this super sharp line that now you're like, oh, I have to like blend or whatever with like a completely different brush. I think I fell in love with this brush when, um, mostly because like if you're, if you're wearing like claws, you know, claw nails, cause like a lot of these, these um, eyeshadows, they apply so nicely with, a fin with your finger. But if you're wearing claws, it's like really hard to like get in here, you know? And also this part of my face I've talked about is like relatively deep set. So like having a brush to do that detail is just like something that I really appreciate. And this brush has just really became that for me. And this works perfectly with like shimmer shadows, matte shadows, basically anything. But I just really appreciate how much it grips like a foiled shadow. Okay, now I'm gonna grab pots from the Beauty and the Beast palette. Oh, oh this one, pots right here. This guy? And I'm gonna grab my small tapered blending brush. This is a small one. There's a larger tapered blending brush, just to be clear. I'm gonna pick up pots. I'm gonna kind of like twist my brush at an angle while I pick that up. Always tapping off. And then what's amazing about this brush is because the way that it's like angled, you can literally just like put it in your eye socket. Like literally just like boop and go back and forth. And the way that it's shaped, do you remember when, um, any OG makeup people, do you remember when Crispy taught us all to like angle our brush a certain way, depending on like how we're blending? This brush kind of eliminates the need to even like do that. And you can literally just stick it in your crease and go back and forth. And the way that it's shaped, it just does the blending for you. So as I blend up and out, I'm just kind of like pulling it for a little bit further away from my skin, but keeping it, making sure to keep it angled. Um, okay, I'm gonna use that same brush, but I'm gonna use my switch. Uh, also, it's double-sided, just so you know. So if like, I don't know, if you end up with like way too much product on one side, you can flip to the other side. And then I'm going to grab Cogsworth, this shade, and I'm just gonna focus it on one side like this, so angling a little bit, tapping off my brush, and then I'm just going to gently, just above that, use this brush to sweep and blend. So you can see rather than like going back and forth like this a lot, I'm kind of like painting with it. So just kind of like hugging the underside of my um, 
of my brow bone. And it's really soft, so you can just kind of like sweep. These palettes, um, like the colors look so nice together. It's like they were meant for each other. Like the shift and everything, it's very flattering. Um, okay, so I'm going to use the Lisa Eldridge Burnt Umber um, Eyeliner. I'm gonna place this in the outer part of my waterline. Just like that. I'm just gonna use my Refer 26 brush. Blend that out a little. And then in the inner part of my uh, waterline, I'm gonna go in with this new NYX Epic Wear liner stick. This is in the shade Frosted Lilac. At least this color is new to me. So I'm gonna place it in my inner waterline and then drag it onto the lash line a little bit. And then just kind of blend into the br that brown. So like marrying those two shades. Very, very convenient when all of my new makeup has like the same tones. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna wipe off my um, E54 brush on my switch once again. I'm gonna pick up Ego, I think. I'm gonna grab Ego, this shade right here, and I'm just gonna focus it on the very tip of the brush and blend that just under that eyeliner. Bring it up a little bit. So you can smoke this like as long, or as long? as far down as you want, whatever you're comfortable with. You know I like it smoky. And plus I have not been sleeping and my under eyes are just like, whoa. So let's cover that up. <laughs> let's, let's cover that up. Actually, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more of Ego. I just wanna build that up a little bit more because I really like that color. It's bringing out a little bit more of the rust in um, the lid color. Switch, one more time, switch. And then with this clean, I'm just gonna dust under, just like right underneath that to soften. So no additional product, just wiping off whatever was on there. And then buffing around the edges. Now we're gonna go in with the E06 brush and I'm gonna grab Forbidden, this like chocolatey brown. And I'm just going to take like the very, very edge of that liner brush and tap it into that shadow. So I wanna make sure that it's pretty like localized, tapping off my brush. And then this is one of my favorite ways to use this brush. I'm just gonna extend my inner corner a tiny bit. Now I have pretty round inner corner, so I like to kind of like start on the lower part of my um, lash line and then just bring it up a little bit in there. Rather than taking it like in too far, cause my, I have like relatively close set eyes. So I like to kind of just like put it underneath, do a tiny extension and then meet the top a little bit. This is the perfect brush for that. I don't know why the skin on my nose is peeling, but it's very annoying. So I'm gonna grab my E54 brush. I'm gonna wipe that off. I'm gonna grab um, Protected, this one, from the Danessa palette. I'm gonna pick that up with the edge of the brush and I'm gonna place this in my inner corner, just above where we made that extension. Okay, I'm switching with my EO6 brush. <laughs> and then I have this um, cupcake Pastel Duochrome Loose Eyeshadow from Carla Cosmetics. And I'm gonna mix that with a little bit of Inglot Duraline. And I'm gonna make a little liquid situation to put underneath that extension. And I'm gonna use my E06 to run this just underneath. And then connect it and fade into um, the liner that we put on the lower lash line. Guess what we're gonna do? I'm gonna switch again. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go in with a wing, uh, with a winged liner. So I'm gonna use 
Speaking of Sigma, the Wicked Gel Eyeliner. This is in, um, I mean, it's black. It's black gel liner. <laughs> this is in the shade Wicked, I guess. Uh, so I'm gonna use my EO6 for that. Pick that up. I'm making my wing a little thicker than usual because I'm definitely gonna be wearing um, some falsies on the outer part at least. So I'm gonna taper it in a little bit. Like as we get to like the halfway mark. Oh look, I made a little heart in the cap. <laughs> That's so cute. All right, I'm gonna curl my lashes with my Refer Lash Curler as huge. And then I'm going to be using the um, e.l.f. Roll and, Roll and Lash Mascara, which I've been meaning to use for like a really long time and I just haven't. I doubt it'll hold my lashes up, but I like the um, wand. Huh, okay. I'm not mad at that. I am mad at that. The wand for this mascara is very similar to the Benefit one. They even have like the colors, you know what I mean? I can't remember what the Benefit one is called, but the Benefit one has like a lot more flexibility in the wand. Like there's like a little bit of a give to it, which just makes it, I don't know, it makes it feel a little bit nicer. This, this, uh, this wand is just like a little bit more stiff. Damn, it's really good for my lower lashes too. I think I like this mascara. It's not something that happens often. It doesn't happen often. So when it does, you know? Okay, some of you might be like, wait, what about the E80 brush? Bro. Well, and others of you will probably be like, yeah, we know exactly when it's coming in. This is hands down, in my opinion, the best spoolie ever for setting my eyebrows. It's the best one. I'll show you, I'll show you, and I will tell you why. So I set my brows with soap. I use my Paris soap. This spoolie, compared to other spoolies that I have, which like I'll use, um, I have these two. They're just so fat. Look how fat they are. They're too thick. And like the bristles, the actual bristles are way too long. So when I, I like this one, I was trying to use this one the other day. I'm trying to set my brows and like, I can't get the product on there. Like I couldn't, I couldn't get the soap to like, the brows, they wouldn't lay. They wouldn't lay right. Let's just do it. So I, I get the soap a little bit wet and then I use the spoolie to pick up the paste. And it's just like the perfect, like the bristles are the perfect length so that you're not like scraping, you're not scraping your skin, but it actually gets the product like close enough, you know, to like the base of the hairs. I like to kind of like brush this way first. So I like, I laid in a little bit of um, a brow pencil for the shape. Now I'm going in. See, and it just, it just like is the only spoolie where I can actually like coat all of the hairs really easily. It's super, um, like the size of it is perfect. Like it's thin enough. The bristles are long enough, but not too long. And it just makes it so, and I just feel like it fits my brows so perfectly. So this is, it's obviously, it's a spoolie. You can use it for whatever you use spoolies for. Like you can comb out your lashes with it and stuff, but this is my favorite way to use it to set my brows. I like can't live without it. And I get annoyed when I'm too lazy to clean it and I end up using another spoolie because they all, none of them compare. I actually think I'm not gonna uh, use any lashes. I kind of like the way it looks without it. No, maybe I will. Oh God, I don't know. I have these little, um segments maybe i'll use those these little segments from 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 velour over there so i have these velour lash extensions these guys i've already used like a couple of them i'm probably just gonna i like the short ones the long ones are like really intense but um i might just use a couple of these on like the very outer part while i wait for my brows to set Yeah, so I just did like a medium one and then a slightly, and then one of the shorter ones right here, just so that like my natural lashes kind of like blend a little bit better into that like thick wing. 
you know, just adds a little something. That's not too much. I got these, um, what are these called? Pillow Soft Hydrating Stains for Lip and Cheek from Dominique Cosmetics. I have these two shades that might work. I have Berry Soft, ooh, which I think would be really good. I just don't know how I should apply it. And then I was thinking Pink Dream. Maybe I'll mix them actually. I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of each on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna mix them together. And then I'm just gonna use the butt of my foundation sponge. Oh, very juicy. Oh, the color is perfect. That color combo is perfect for what I'm wearing. They're a little wet for my taste, to be honest. I don't know if I love it for the cheeks. I feel like I can't really see it and it's making my, um, my cheeks a little too glossy for my taste. I feel like I can see a little bit, but it's just not, um, it's not really there. Oh, it is definitely a stain. I'm gonna go in with Pink Dreams in the center of my lips. And then Very Soft. They seem to stain my hand pretty quick, so I'm just gonna let those sit for a second and then I think I'm gonna blot and then go in with some lip liner. That's pretty. Nice like flush of color. I'm gonna go in with, um, this is Clio lip liner in the shade, velvet lip liner in the shade Coffee Brown, which might seem really random, but it's a good contour color just to do like a little defining around the edges. Okay, and then the final thing that I want to try is, um, this is KHJ brand. This is um, Katie Jane Hughes new brand. And this is the um, Hyper Shine Light Pigment in Light Gold. So she launched like a highlighter I believe she's got like a few different shades. She sent me light gold, which is really, really pretty. And then she also has a, a hyper shine serum, which you can, um, it's like a balm essentially. And you can, or a balm, it's like a gloss almost. And you can mix it in. Actually, it's probably, I mean, it is called a serum. Yeah, no, it's like a gloss, I would say. Like there's some grip to it. Um, so you can mix them together to create like a really, really dewy cheek. I'm just gonna use the gold since the blush is already like a little dewy on my cheeks. Uh, she has a brush. This is her number one brush. So I'm, that's what I'm gonna use to apply. I'm just gonna dip it in, tap it on the cheekbone. Oh yeah, okay, I can see it. It's a little tough because I already have like reflect from the blush, but. I'm just gonna pop that above my brow bone. I have a feeling, I, I have a feeling that um, I'm not gonna be using the gloss serum very much just because like, I don't know, my skin can end up looking like too dewy. But if you have dry skin, it might be a nice combo. And then I'm just gonna take, this is my Refer 02 brush. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that. I'm just gonna kind of blend under the brow bone into that C shape so that this area doesn't look like so disconnected. Okay, this is really pretty. I feel like we have like a really nice combination of like warm and cooler tones going on. Those two palettes worked so beautifully together. <laughs> those those um, Dominique Cosmetics stains, they stain, they definitely stain. All right guys, so this is the finished makeup look using all of these new products and also my set with Sigma. Okay, so important info about this set. So the products themselves, like all together, would be a $78 value, uh, but the set is going to be $62. And I can't do math um, at all, so I can't tell you what percentage that is off, but I can tell you that if you use my code with Sigma, Alexandra, it'll give you an extra 10% off. So since I can't do math, I can't tell you what the exact percentage 
off is of the 78, uh, but it's significant. That's all I can tell you. So basically, if you're looking for like super versatile products, uh, I just want to go through these again really, really quick to reiterate. The um, 54 brush, E54 brush is fantastic for like packing on the lid, but it allows you to do blending. And also you saw me um, use this for my inner corner. You can use this to buff on the lower lash line. It's kind of like preference, you know? Uh, you can use it to contour your nose, your lips, just like versatile, versatile. Uh, the E45 brush, the tapered, small tapered blending brush is fantastic. Obviously I blended it on, in my crease. I blended just above the crease. Um, you could use this for like inner corner highlight for buffing your lower lash line. Uh, again, nose contour, like you can use this in a million different ways. It's also, it would probably be really good for um, applying like concealer in your inner corner, detail work, stuff like that. Uh, the E06 brush, this little tiny winged liner brush, which I use super often for doing um, like inner corner extension, outer. This is probably my favorite brush for um, powder. My like go-to look is kind of like a tiny, tiny little extension powder wing using like a black or like a gray eyeshadow. And this is the brush that I always use for that. You can use this with like a million different products. It doesn't have to be like powder. It doesn't have to be a gel liner. You can do, you know, this kind of situation with the Dura line where I created my own liner. You could do this to, you could fill in your brows. You could use this to fill in your brows. It's super precise. If you've been looking for like a really, really tiny winged liner brush, this is the one. And then the E80 brush, obviously it's a spoolie. You can use it to like brush out your mascara if you feel like you get clumpiness or I don't know, do some like creative artistic looks. But I'm telling you right now, if you've been looking for a spoolie to set your eyebrows, this is the best one. It just is. All the other ones, they don't, they just, they're not, they're not good enough. They're not good enough for me. It's this one, all right? And you know that, you know that because you've seen it in every single of my YouTube videos for I don't even know how long, probably since I got the brush. And what's really great about the Sigma Switch, obviously you saw me use it like a ton to switch between shades, but um, what's cool about it is you can use this to wash your brushes also. So if you have like brush soap or like a little bit of dish soap, which is usually what I use, just take it in the bathroom, put it in your sink and you just like uh, put a little, drizzle a little bit of um, soap and water and it gets your brushes nice and clean. So the fact that it's small is fantastic because like you can take it, obviously it's the travel size one, you can take it with you so that you're not wasting paper towels, which is what I was doing for such a long time. Literally like paper towel, paper towel, paper towel. Um, you just clean this and you can also use it to clean your brushes. It's fantastic. It's so good. All of these are so versatile. You can use them for like a million different things and it's, that's why I chose them. <laughs> it's literally why I chose them. So once again, this is my set. Look how cute. Look how cute it is. Uh, I don't know. If you're interested, again, it'll be linked down below. All of the products that I use will be linked down below, but in particular, all the information for the set. If you want it, get it. I don't know, dude. Like, I don't know. You'll be hearing me talk about it for a little while, okay? Just saying, just a warning, just a warning. If you've been looking for versatile brushes or if you've been like trying to check out Sigma and you just like don't know where to begin, if you're trying to craft an eyeshadow look or an eye look and you want things that are versatile, this is what I would suggest. Um, yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed this video, these new products. Let me know if you wanna see more from the Danessa Myricks palette. Obviously we only used like a couple shades, but stunning. The blend I have to say is, fantastic. Um, I'm pretty happy with everything that I used with the exception of the stain on my cheeks. I don't really want to use it as like a cheek stain, but I do like it on the lips. It's a very pretty color. Uh, yeah. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. Subscribe and stuff, and I will see you in the next one.